Angie and I'm coming today to do a quick project share for Crafty Me Shop and that is owned by Esme and you can find her shop on Facebook. She has a Facebook group and here's some of her information right here because it's this way now. <laughs> Turn my flip my camera around. So here you go. Um, so she runs a sale once a week and it's first come first serve. She used to um, post pictures and then you would um, post on what you wanted but uh, lately the last few um, sales have been live so you have to catch her live and she'll always give you an advance notice when she's going live and then what she didn't sell or has few things left she'll go ahead and post those and so you'll have a second chance to maybe get on in on some of her things she sells anything from lace trims bling trinket boxes lace bundles um, you name it she's she has it she has such different varieties of things she sells very high quality items and she is a super sweet lady and she'll even do like cooking videos for you if you ask her <laughs> I think she's planning on doing some like Mexican cookies soon or whatnot so yeah so please go over and um, uh, join her Facebook group she also has a YouTube channel here and I everything is linked below so if you need to get there um, check the links below okay so I just did a couple little things really quick um, so this one is just something I have uh, wrapped up in a box. Well, it's not completely wrapped up, but I put this really pretty box together for a friend. And then this wreath comes off, but it's, here's that little thing right here. And I came up with this really cool idea. I don't know, I might do a tutorial on how to do that weathered layer look. Um, this is just a piece of wood, but I used to um, paint big pieces of wood lettered wood and then I fly them on to ply on like old fence wood. Anyways, I came up with a trick on how to do it on smaller wood. So <laughs> stay tuned on that. And then this is just like a little deer I um, molded from a clay um, mold and then I put that Seth Apner um, faux encaustic on it and it looked pretty cool. Anyways, so this is just a little wreath and then you just put it here. And I'll tie it. I was just trying to give you guys a kind of a cool um, way to wrap Christmas gifts or a gift for a friend. And so this was just one of those long faux pine boughs, I guess you call them. And you get them like at Hobby Lobby. And I just turned it into a circle and then made it like a wreath. And then so you just attach two pieces of string on each side. And then you come back here and you just tie it like this. So that's kind of a super simple way to decorate um, a gift and then this is Tim Holtz's paper so I just made like a little box to fit what I need to have um, what I needed to hold inside here so anyways it's one of my art dolls and she's gonna live in this little box here <laughs> I've been obsessed with these art dolls, you guys. They're they're so fun to make. This one was a little tedious, I have to say, because she is only um, from head to toe almost nine inches long, and the other one I made was about fourteen inches long. So I scaled her way back, and the smaller you got, I mean, obviously, I didn't think it was going to be super difficult, but this one, the little ones are actually. A little bit um, more difficult to make but I still love the process and I think this one turned out amazing I was a little worried a, <laughs> a few times but I end up getting through the project and that's one of the good thing when you're not really liking something or you feel like it's you're struggling through it put it down come back and get through it finish it to the end and then decide instead of just like throwing it to the side and like so you know so that's kind of what I had to do I had to put her down to the side for a couple times and come back and then I'm so happy I finished her because I I love her. She's little and it's just, just petite and I just I just think she's adorable. So this is a um, fabric and paper clay art doll and it's a sitter doll and so she has a little tiny journal and this is a little slow stitched cover on here using Esme's trims. Um, I have like a lot of little trims and bits from my TT, DT box so I thought this would be a fun way to use some of those things up so um, this is just a little tiny journal put together and then I made a cover with some slow stitching I mean it's nothing spectacular because <laughs> it was so tiny I just thought it'd be fun to do a slow stitch cover 
and then this is her dress and I kind of wanted her dress a little bit more elegant than elegant but rustic and so it's got like three layers got some lace and tulle and some fabric on top and then some little bloomers and then some painted legs and this is some of Esme's sari ribbon that she has sold and some little trim from my DT box and here's the rest of the sari ribbon in the back so yeah so yeah these are just so fun to make you guys sorry I'll try to go slow here like I said my camera does not do close-ups so I'll just have to do this <laughs> and that's why I take the time to take you know decent pictures and put them at the end of my video so you can guys can see slow still shots of my work because like it's kind of hard to see it on a camera sometimes and having those close-ups are nice so she will live in this little box with some tea it's like a tea towel and has like some little rusty stains on it and I'll wrap her up really nice and put her in that box and then the next little thing right here is this um, I might do a little tutorial on this I don't know we'll see if I have the time but I found these little jars at the Dollar Tree they're plastic mason jars and so um, I painted mine to look like a Santa so all I did was I put um, decoupage medium on and I put a fine Martha Stewart glitter on there to give it that frosty glittery wintry look and then I just tied a ribbon around the neck because I wanted it to look like a scarf and then just a little did a rosette with some of Esme's trims and lace panels that I've had left over and Esme sells these and I love these I've used them in so many things <laughs> I'm gonna be sad when I run out and some of um, Esme's glass beads that I had in a little package of little trinkets and stuff in my DT and here's a snowman face that I painted I used to do a lot of tool painting so it's fun to um, use some of my tool painting techniques on how to get the, the gradation of shading on here and stuff it's a lot of fun to make so here's like a cute way I thought this is a Dollar Tree and this is I I like to package my things in kind of unusual kind of packaging and I thought you know this would be fun so then you open it here and you've got a little princess in there one of my little snow snow princesses so and then um, another thing that I do is I take um, book pages old book pages and I take my Martha Stewart scissors and all I do I think you've seen me use these on other like Laurel's live or Maggie's and what you do is you, I just chomp down a line and then cut them out and then I, <coughs> excuse me you guys, I take the paper and I roll it in my hand and I make my own shreds. I love making book paper shreds and using them for the gifts. That was what was in this box as well. There's a bunch of book paper shreds here, see, in there. I just love that. You can, you can also use like tea stain paper and mix it up or dyed paper. Um, that's just what I like to do. With these scissors, one of the things I like to do. Anyway, so that's that's what's holding the gift. And then here's the little princess. She's like a little itty bitty um, snow girl. So she's all paper mache, and I make the whole body out of paper mache, and then I run some wire to attach the arms. And I just always love the little things. So I put some little ballet slippers on her. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. And this is all Esme's trims my DT box um, this is going um, to another friend for her challenge and she loves shabby chic so I thought this this worked out perfect and I took Esme's trim here and I made a little crown and all I did was I dipped it in fabric stiffener first I antiqued it fabric stiffener and then I brushed on decoupage medium and then dipped it in glitter and this is one of my DT little trinkets I got my DT I love as my stuff like I said everything's so vintage so it's just like a little bell lantern I guess she's holding on her wrist and here's some jewels the jewels so she's a little Christmas ornament and then I just did some layers of lace trims 
can trim up here. It's very pretty. It's like avocado dye pink. So I think it's, it'll work well. It's very shabby chic. Um, very still my style though. Like I said, I I try I try to do the shabby chic thing, and I'm getting better at it. But I still feel like it's still just me. I'm very vintage, and I I feel like my style still comes, even though I'm doing it for somebody else who loves shabby chic. I feel like my signature or my style still comes through no matter what I try to do. <laughs> so, and that's okay, right? It's, it's, that works. So, so yeah, so here's this little tiny itty bitty snow princess or snow angel, whatever you'd like to call her. But I ran rusty wire through um, to hold her legs and arms on. But I just adore um, paper mache. I love it. My favorite kind is creative paper clay. And then I have a couple other brands at DOS, I think is another brand that's okay to use. Um, but if you guys are interested in what kind of paper clay I use. Um, anyways, so the, yeah, so that is that. And I just wanted to come on here really quick and do a couple project shares. I know it's been a while as me, so thank you for being so patient with me. Thank you for allowing me to be on your DT the last couple of years. I've had nothing but fun. You are super fun to work for my cactus dun sister hot tamale. <laughs> I have all these little nicknames for her. You are a joy to work for Esme. Thank you so much for for the encouragement, the love, and all the support you're always giving me and all of your your followers. You're you're truly amazing and I'm truly blessed to be um a part of your your little world. I hope everybody's having a wonderful and safe week and the holidays are upon us and yeah <laughs> okay i will talk to you later bye, -bye.